Hello and welcome to another tier list video. Today we are taking a look at potato variations. Now I've taken a look at french fry variations so there is going to be a bit of overlap from that video into this one but this time around we're expanding it to all forms of potatoes that I could think of. Um, if there are other potato variations that I haven't thought of in this video uh, let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear but starting us off we have hash browns which I would say are kind of considered to be the breakfast variants of potatoes and I think hash browns are really good if they're cooked properly because for me hash browns in order to be good they got to be crispy they got to be brown I mean come on they're, they're called hash browns they, they should be cooked they should be crispy they should be brown uh, but many times I've had hash browns you know whether it's at restaurants or you know up in college uh, they make the hash browns and they just don't cook them long enough so it's still just kind of like soft and mushy throughout and it almost feels like you're eating just like shredded potato rather than actually eating something that's you know crispy and it's got some crunch to it so when you get crispy hash browns I think those are really good you know you put some salt on them you can eat them plain or you put them into an omelet or with some eggs anything uh, hash browns are really good but they really got to be cooked properly you know properly cooked hash browns I would say are a solid A tier but I've had so many just undercooked mushy hash browns that would be D or an F tier so that's gonna bring it down a little bit and hash browns will end up in a B tier which is still respectable but again I've just had you know undercooked hash browns too many times to quite put them up in A tier. Up next we have potato salads which is another one which can really vary a lot depending on how you prepare it. Um, I've had you know many types of potato salad that taste you know wildly different. You can add in different ingredients, different amounts of the ingredients and you know depending on how you like to make your potato salad it can turn out quite differently but I would say in general I really like potato salad. Um, it's very rare where I actually try a potato salad which I don't like so it's just a pretty solid one and I mean a potato salad and a burger you know outside on the deck in the summer that's just a great meal right there and potato salad gonna find itself in a very solid B tier. Up next we have roasted potatoes um, this is another one kind of like hash browns where it's got to be cooked properly because I've had roasted potatoes where like the outside and like the edges is like you know nice and cooked properly but the inside is still just like a bit undercooked so you got to be careful when you're roasting potatoes you don't want to roast them at too high of a temperature because then the outside gets cooked way before the inside and then you know you get kind of that contrast that's that's not great you want to have it kind of cooked you know consistently throughout and when you do that I think roasted potatoes are really good you know eating them just on their own isn't really something I like to do but if you make some roasted potatoes with like a meat to go with it like steak you get a bite of the steak you get a bite of the roasted potatoes it's delicious roasted potatoes gonna find themselves up in the A tier for me up next we have french fries now there are some other you know variations of french fries but for these I'm gonna be kind of looking at the, the standard you know shoestring french fries that you might get at a McDonald's or something like that and honestly as I said in my french fry video I love french fries you know french fries with some salt some ketchup absolutely delicious definitely gonna be in the S tier for me don't think I need to say too much about french fries up next we have baked potato which is probably one of the more common ways to eat a potato I suppose and maybe french fries is the most popular I could say but baked potato definitely pretty common as well but to be quite honest I'm not a huge baked potato person I don't dislike it but um, potato on its own uh, you know it just doesn't do a whole lot for me I really gotta have something else there like a baked potato with some salt and some pepper just isn't quite enough for me um, I really like to have something else added in there just a baked potato on its own it's not bad but again, not my favorite, and it's only going to find itself in the C tier. Up next, we have curly fries, which honestly, I love French fries, and curly fries for me are just better. Uh, Arby's curly fries, absolutely fantastic. Curly fries in general, I don't think I've ever had a bad curly fry in my life, to be honest. So uh, curly fries, also going to find themselves up in the S tier. Up next we have a loaded baked potato. Now I said before I'm not a huge fan of baked potato because there's not quite enough there for me. Loaded baked potatoes is great. You can load up your baked potatoes with a bunch of different things, you know, vegetables, meat, cheese, you know, whatever. As long as you load it up well, I'm probably going to like it. So loaded baked potatoes, fantastic. Going to find themselves up in the A tier. Up next we have mashed potatoes. Now to be honest... I'm not a huge fan of mashed potatoes either. As you can probably guess, 
Um, mashed potatoes, I would say, if they're close to anything on this list, it's probably closest to just baked potatoes. And mashed potatoes, not a huge fan. Um, I'm not as big of a fan of the consistency. You know, consistency of foods isn't really something that bothers me, but there is, you know, food texture and consistency which makes me like it more. But mashed potatoes just doesn't really do anything for me. It's just kind of like, well, it's mashed. It's almost like soupy. It's kind of like sand almost. And flavor-wise, it doesn't do a whole lot for me unless I really add, you know, some other stuff in there. So mashed potatoes, this is going to upset a lot of people, I know, but it's going to find itself down in the D tier. Not a big mashed potato guy myself. Up next, we have potato chips, which I think are pretty good, you know. The, I've never had a potato chip that's going to completely blow me away, but it's a great snack food. Not really something that you want if you're, you know, looking for a meal, but in terms of a snack food, I think potato chips are really good, and uh, they're going to find themselves in a very solid B tier. Up next, we have potato soup. Now, this is another one, you know, kind of like potato salad, where you can have, you know, significant variations from one potato soup to the next. I've had some potato soups where it's really not a whole lot of ingredients. It's basically like tomatoes, uh, not tomatoes, uh, potatoes, sorry. Um, you know, whatever sort of cream base they use and, you know, maybe some celery in there. So potato soup can be underwhelming, but, you know, if there are a decent amount of ingredients, you can get some pretty good potato soup. But in my experience, most of the time, potato soup is a bit underwhelming. And if I'm looking at soup options, I'm probably not going to go for potato soup. So it's going to find itself down in the C tier. Up next, we have potato wedges, um, you know, another variation of french fries, you could say. And I think potato wedges are pretty good. If they're done well, they are fantastic. But potato wedges, many times they some, uh, can suffer from the same issues as roasted potatoes where they, you know, deep fry or they cook the potato wedges at too high of a temperature. So the outside, you know, is nice and cooked, maybe nice and crispy. But the inside of the potato wedge is like still like too soft and like too mushy. So, potato wedges, you really gotta cook them properly, and it can be kind of weird because they're such a strange shape, but if they're done well, they're great. If they're not done well, they're not great. So, they'll find themselves down in the B tier, which isn't bad for french fries, but again, I've had a lot of uh, underwhelming experiences with potato wedges in the past. Up next, we have the uh, Smiley Potato French Fries. Now, my only memory of eating these is like in elementary and middle school. And they were kind of garbage there because, you know, it, it, you ate them because it was all you had. But in comparison to like any other french fries, they were not good. They were not crispy at all. They were always soft and mushy. It was basically like biting into a potato. Like sure, the outside was like, could sometimes be a little bit crispy compared to just raw potato. But the inside was always mushy. And sure, I would eat it, but it wasn't great. Smiley potatoes are going to be down in the D tier. Up next, we have steak fries, which I think are really good. Um, I like steak fries. You know, you get a nice big piece of uh, french fry there, basically, and seasoned properly. You know, I'm thinking of Red Robin steak fries. Those are fantastic. So I think steak fries are just really good, and they're kind of hard to do wrong unless you undercook them. Um, so steak fries are also going to find themselves up in the A tier. Up next, we have tater tots. Um, tater tots, it, you know, it's weird. I, I didn't really love tater tots growing up as a kid. I don't know what it was. Maybe I just had some bad tots, but tater tots now I think are really good. And they're another one where when you cook properly, you know, prepare them properly, I think they go super well. But tater tots are also something that I think goes really great in a lot of dishes with a lot of other foods. So definitely a very versatile potato. And uh, tater tots gonna find themselves up in the S tier. Last but certainly not least, we have waffle fries. I think waffle fries, you know, as I've said about pretty much every other french fry, waffle fries are really good, really solid. Um, you know, very rarely will I have a bad waffle fry. I have had times where, you know, it's just an undercooked waffle fry, but uh, again, you know, waffle fries, I don't know what it is, if it's the shape, the texture, but I think just they're really good. So uh, waffle fries going to find themselves in a very solid A tier. Well, that's my list. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know your thoughts.